Okay, fighting sound and a lot of issues. So basically, this is what we found in the fire bill. 1109 UTC time. And basically, I'm going to skip through this video as fast as we can. This is what we had off the stereo A H12 on the 9th of this month. And there you got the meatball. You got Nemesis, the guru, whatever they want to call it. And you can see it in the sky. Got it on the Asgard. Went to the live view and caught it at 11.09 and 41 seconds UTC on the 12th, okay? October 12th, 2012. You can see it. Cam trailing was not there. Uh, the sun would be coming up in the east with the super giants. Basically that super giants sunlight hides and this is, as you can see, because it's basically 3.09 Eastern Standard Time, okay? The sun's not up yet. And that little yellow dot is something to do with me helping get the sound out of here, okay? Can't help that. Um, finally got a hold of uh, something to be able to show you correctness. Now, Nibiru is not there when you go to look at the stereo. You won't be able to see it. Um, you can get Cetus to come up. You'll see in this video in, in a little bit too, and I'll try to, I'm going to try to speed this video up. Not really speeding it up, but I'm just going to try to go forward in it. But basically, there's that shot that I got. Basically, it's a video format front, and you can see the moon just above the Earth there. Okay? The Earth's the biggest one with the black side and the white side. This white side is toward the sun. The sun is behind the satellite. Okay, So if I can back that up, hopefully here. Basically, the satellite's over here, and I'll hit pause. Okay, there's Earth being pointed at, and just above it in that cursor is the moon, very small little bit right above it is the dark side. Okay, the sun hits and reflects this way. This is Venus. This is the meatball there. This is Nemesis. This is what is out in, hidden in the dark side of space, and the dark side of space is here with the sun not, and the supergiants not illuminating over here. They can't, they can't illuminate the back side of Earth. They can't illuminate the back side of the moon or Venus, okay? The light waves will not propagate around and curve and be able to get to that area. So we have a lot of stuff in this huge area of Pluto, Venus, and Uranus. Now, as I play the video, we should be able to get, uh, I'll hit play, and we should be able to get the footage from Sechi on the blue area. And I'll speed through this video here again. I'll just try to get it ahead a little bit and see what we get. You don't really have a previewer like you do, and there's basically the shot from Fireball that I basically caught it. And it'll be more of that action in a minute. What I've been fighting is sound issues and so forth. And should be able to get the video to come forward here. You're going to have to watch this movie on full screen and basically you'll see uh, what a guy had privately caught in the sky. Now that could be it, it could be anything, it could be a, a rota fastly rotating star. I'll see if I can get this player to work pretty decently to be able to shorten it up. But having technical issues on the forge trying to show you this, getting a lot of uh, Big Brother attention. Basically you cannot see it on Stellarium, okay? And basically, this is all dark side stuff. The Neptune transition event. Basically, you can see it at three o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time over and around the Georgia area, but Alabama and so forth, out in the nighttime sky because you're getting the sun from the left hand side, which is east, and you can see it because you're getting it from the super giants. You're getting enough sun from the super giants. There is this Orcus, which is basically. A crystallite thing that basically might be giving us all the action that we're seeing over in Hawaii okay there's also I got a little bit of information here um, I'll be able to speed this up a little bit and give you some information from and there's more than likely our second moon and basically showing you this stuff so that you can go to your deals and make sure that you look up Orcus and 3753 Make sure that our second moon is not the object either, and it basically is not because it's huge. I mean, our second moon is actually, I believe, smaller than. I do believe that it's smaller than our actual moon. Okay. 
Now we are supposed to get another moon so that we'll have two moons around 2013, 2014, sometime between here and 2017, if I remember the dates correctly, okay? I know it's not out past 2019, so it's going to freak a lot of people out. People are going to think, though, the Martians are coming, or oh, all this history, the Bible's wrong, so well, they can try to brainwash anybody in any, any kind of crap, okay? Kuth me their spelling in there it's orbit and basically it's like a nut basically bean cracked open peanut or whatever it's, that's its orbit it's way different than the earth and the moon okay and uh the moon basically falls it's around it's a satellite okay and the moon would be what we would be end up more than likely if we were to fall out of our electrical magnification with the sun that answers some people's question about that uh I uh, need to keep on doing sound checks here on this information through here. There are some similar minor planets, basically oracles that are out there and so forth. Now you'd have to watch this on full screen, okay? Uh, basically just overriding uh, sound difficulties that they're giving us now is more than likely out of the Hercules Nebula, okay, the constellations, the Hercules constellations, okay, that are over towards Neptune and Pluto, because basically that's what you can see in the sky out of one of the fireballs, okay? And no one's playing any practical joke on us, folks. This is an actual shot that got caught at 3 something in the morning, 3.09. I might be off a little bit on the time, but it's 11.09 UTC, so you do the math. All I know is it's usually eight hours, okay? It's basically Netherlands, Iceland time, and also portions of far west Africa, okay? Which is more or less towards the side of Africa that's towards far east side of the United States, okay? So you usually just minus eight hours out of that time and you usually end up with like 3.09 a.m. is when this object was there, okay? Now in this video, the yellow spot got st stuck early because the idea that I'm doing what I have to do to be able to give you sound, okay? And basically there is this stuff around in the Pisces area, Pisces Australis, okay? The Cygnus group area, there's a star that basically has clouds forming around it, okay? Which is very unusual, okay? Now, can we trust all this information that you get there? This is about the most accurate pictures I've ever seen from the Hubble telescope that I like, okay? About the most realistic stuff that you see, okay? Constellation Pegasus. Now, Orcus, you can't pick up on Stellarian either, which is unusual. Now, they do cover up a lot of stuff by naming video games and all kinds of things about it. So when you go searching, like, P, uh, L2, Luminosity 2 basically is planetary 2, which would be Earth 2. Now remember all the stuff I told you about Pluto, okay? Michael Brown is very smart and basically has found these dwarfs out there and basically they are, are being accepted by IAU as dwarf planets, okay? Asteroid series, Eris and Pluto are now, referred to as bodies, are being considered for the category of dwarf planets, okay? other solar systems are bodies that are being okay this stuff's out there you can see it now because you basically it's just the sun of the super giants and everything like that now we're going to go through here and there's some information i'll just let this keep playing for a second and i'll maybe speed it up a little bit okay now there is our i don't want to miss our data on our shots that was the sun and basically there's the sun and basically you can see a little bit of what more than likely alarap is rising and setting right there get the cursors out of the way so you can see it it's rising and setting below the sun and i caught it on that a little jumbled up i'm getting like a 39 minute video in here and this is basically what i caught on the 12th from a uh, navy you can very much trust this action here okay now getting back to the movie I think we should be able to pull it right back up where we're at. Basically, I'm showing you back again that basically, now this is solar wind and everything that's coming by, okay? This is actually how much that 600 mile solar wind, basically we should be able to get to that information here. Because this is gonna be end up cutting down to a 15 minute video. I'm skipping through a 39 minute video of showing you that the meatball is there by Venus. And we'll skip ahead here because basically, and then this I went to Worldwide Telescope and I go left and right and you can put those input times in there and everything like that and you will not be able to uh, find a moon or anything that's going to get in your way that would be something you would see and that was just an object in space it doesn't really matter i mean maybe it's an important object but the idea the actual factual when i'm going north 
south, east, and west here. So the only thing you're going to end up seeing the sun in the west, okay, as we go to the left here. Remember, you got to watch this video on full screen because basically I had to do what I had to do. Now, there's the sun, okay, in the west at that time in the morning, that UTC time of 11.09, and now the clock is at like 11.10, okay? Because the sun's going to come back up in the east, which I'm going towards, and basically that you'll know that basically that light that was in the sky is from the supergiants, okay? Light travels in a wave, and the idea that when it's coming up, it don't curve around and it won't hit the earth good enough, but we're getting glancing enough and just enough darkness and enough light from supergiants to be able to see Nemesis, okay? Nibiru, Planet X, Brown Dwarf, whatever you want to call it. And what it is, is all that that I showed you earlier of that shot that I caught on, I believe it was the ninth, out in the sky, and basically Big Brother's trying to make sure that they can sneak in and see what I got my pictures and stuff and so on. My sound's been getting stolen and they're, anyway, getting all kinds of backdoor action, which is whatever. We're going to fight through this here and show you that basically uh, that's the solar spots that I'm worried about on the sun right now that anybody should be because it should be point, pointing towards the earth when it comes around. This is very, astronomers are really looking at A31b. I don't understand why. It's 10 times the size of the sun, correct, but maybe that's one of the ones that is actually putting a lot of rays of sun towards us with Alarap and reflecting and doing a bunch of stuff because they are sure, it's one of those things that you can see where people are going on search engines. When I go to the computer data, they're looking at that a lot, okay, A31b, okay, and then I got lucky that it skips back over to this, and then we're going to go to Asgard, okay, that's what's going to be coming up next. You're going to be able to see some of the meteor shower action, objects that come by, on somewhere between the 8th through the, it wasn't the 13th, I know, but when I was looking at 8th through the 12th, there was one orbit that basically was zero AU. So we more than likely had an asteroid that skimmed or entered our atmosphere. Okay, if I can speed this up now, now that's what you can see basically Nemesis from Draconius is basically blowing it up at night because you can look at those UTC times. Basically, I can maybe just back click a little bit here and you'll see those UTC times you're gonna have to watch this video on full screen folks there's nothing I could do about it to get the sound to come through okay uh, and if you check out the time on that when you've seen that basically maybe basically nemesis getting lit up with those right there and then what I showed you earlier on my other videos that I showed you from fireball they were lined up right in front of the nemesis Okay, Draconis. Now that matches the only thing that historically that we get through people talking about stuff, whether it's astronomers or astrologers, is Draconis. Okay, now there's a meteor shower that happened. If you can get that one to play, it would be really cool for you. And I'll just click back a little bit, hopefully get that again for a second, because that meteor shower was awesome right there. It's going to be up a little bit after this. So basically that's lighting up Nemesis enough so you can see it in the nighttime sky right there. Okay. And that is also from the Paris, it's P-A-R-I-S that's listed at, and I'm pretty sure it's the Alabama, Arkansas, or something like that. Uh, it's close enough to Georgia so you see it. Now, there's that meteor shower. You need to get that one played, and that's Tullahoma, I believe, okay, at that time. So you need to blow this up the full screen, and Tullahoma, see, I tried to play it, and this was the movie when I got it to play, and that's when Big Brother jumped all over me. They didn't want you to show you that. Did not want me to. That's what happened. I got play again, and all kinds of crap. I got slammed out. It played real slow. There were some earthquakes here that I showed you that was registering at the time, and there was a 4.6 that was somewhere over in, uh, you know, Europe area, East Russia, somewhere like that. It doesn't really matter right now. What we'll do is I'll pull up right now, and we'll. That's all the ones that are in, over in the, in the, the dredge, the uh, Mariana Trench. And it's a very long list. I got it small enough that I might be able to get the whole long list. And it's really hard. There it is. The whole long list. Dominican Republic, Virgin Island, Cuba area, where the Mariana Trench is pretty close and it's just going crazy over there in the Atlantic. Okay. So, and pretty much I got all the quakes in the last 14 days on here. So that's how much the quakes are going crazy on the Earth. And. Let's go ahead and get a, a now and refresh, and we'll get it spinning in the right direction. Not really too much worry about the globe. And there you go. We got a 3.5 in the last. That's pretty much what I had last time. And we'll hit now. Might change around, and we do down 2.7 down in California. Now California's calmed down for a little bit. 
But when you drag it, you will see all the action that was there.